Yo, yo, welcome back. Today we'll be going over the proto view on the Portpack Mayhem. I am running uh, nightly 250129. So diving into proto view, what is it? Well, simply, proto view is a frequency kind of monitoring system that kind of gives us a, a similar graph, if you will for frequencies coming in mostly on the sub gigahertz channel. It's a good visualization of how frequencies kind of flow. Getting into it again, we're gonna receive, we're gonna go down to, not ADH-B, the receive, go down to proto view. Look on that guy right there. And I'm gonna tune this to the 315 megahertz area because that's kind of where we're gonna see the most traffic right now. 315.000 and hit done. See that we have a lot of traffic coming in because more than likely something in my area is just transmitting 315 like crazy. You can see here that this is kind of the view that you're gonna get and we can of course adjust our, our LNA and our VGA um, which are right here. And we can go to the zoom function and we can then click that to go further into that frequency kind of spectrum get closer into it and then kind of draw out as well uh, we can hit pause if you want to and that pause then we can go and kind of zoom in again on a certain area of that and then we can hit shift and then we can kind of shift over that frequency that we just captured kind of seeing its rolling wave if you will now on the flipper zero, uh, we can go over here. I believe it's under apps. I'm gonna go down to sub gig and then we're gonna go down to proto view. If you wanna see kind of like what the flipper zero looks like on the proto view portion, we can go to the porta pack H4M or H2, whatever you're running. I'm gonna go to the key fob area. Um, it's gonna auto load the Subaru lock. I know for a fact that there are no Subarus in my vicinity because I'm gonna go ahead and hit transmit here and and I tuned my flipper zero to 315. So now I'm gonna to go to start on the H4M or H2. And then you're gonna see on the flipper zero, it's gonna populate, it's gonna kind of show that signal being transmitted. There it is. Now you can see a similar wave pattern of what we saw earlier when we looked at the H4M on the proto view. So if we go back, I'm gonna hit long press. I'm gonna go find me a uh, sub gigahertz frequency to transmit on sub gig we're going to go to saved and i'm just going to go to an air filtration system we are on the 43392 area so if we go back to the proto view so we're back here in proto view i'm going to go and change my frequency up here to that 433.92 now we are receiving something but let's see what happens when i hit transmit on the flipper zero over here. So we're gonna go ahead and let that clear out on that last of the line. It is now gone and send that. And we can see that it's sent and then there is the frequency that it was sending. Now, if we go and hit pause, we can then kind of shift out of that frequency or shift over, I mean, and then we can also zoom in or out. That's zooming in. and then back to one. So if I do this again, I wanna hit reset and I'm gonna hit send again. And then we can see that it's gonna populate that frequency of what we just sent. There it is again. So all ProtoView is, is just a good visualization of how a frequency is being kind of transmitted um, and you can just kind of get a better grasp and understanding of that frequency. It's a very simple app, there's not a lot to it. Um, no need to complicate this any further. Uh, let's thank today's sponsor, which is PCB Way. So if you don't, if you don't know who PCB Way is, they do a ton of really cool things. Whether it's 3D printing, circuit circuit board designing, uh, PCB assembly, uh, they sell some really cool tools and gadgets on their website. They have a shared community portion on their website as well. That if you find a project that you'd like. Uh, that is open source that somebody else has done. You can go to the shared portion of their website and then kind of scan through and they have all the files, the Gerber files, the BOM, um, everything that you need to build that PCB and or assemble it as well. PCB way can do all that for you. They're very well priced from what I've seen and I've been happy with their customer service. Uh, 
I mean, those guys are very prompt on their emails and their responses. If there's any issues that I've had with the file that I've uploaded, they get back to me right away and they say, hey, you missed this, this, and this, or hey, we're having an issue on this. I can then I can then address that issue and then they can take care of it right away. Uh, great customer service. I cannot say enough awesome things about PCB Way. If you guys want to check them out, look at the link in the description below and you can receive a uh, discount on your first order. So again, thanks PCB Way for all that you guys have done for me and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for supporting this channel. Uh, it means a lot to me and I'm sure it means a lot to, to the community as well. So you guys go check them out, please. So check out Purview on the H4M or H2 uh, Mayhem firmware and or the Flipper Zero. Um, and then you can kind of, kind of understand how frequencies kind of flow and you can monitor them. It's pretty simple, straightforward. So again, not a lot to today's video. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and do the fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.